By comparison with the political resources and strategies available in the modern universe of democracy, under current conditions, it is not usually possible any longer to use science and technology to depoliticize or depersonalize political decisions and actions. This was pervasive before. The role of science and technology in the rhetoric and practices which reify democratic political power cannot be exaggerated. Think, for instance, on Montesquieu's science of legislation, or his and following him the federalist influential use of the mechanical metaphor of checks and balances to describe the working of a good constitution. One of the most glaring contemporary illustrations of the impact of politics on the scope of the social authority of science is related to the shrinking life expectancy of political mandates due to the convergence of the dynamics of electronic mass media, public opinion polls, and democratic values according to instant accountability. When you cut the time horizon which determines the political relevance of scientific knowledge, you diminish certain kinds of expert authority. Have there been recent changes in the conditions in which modern publics know where to look for authentic expertise? My uh, role as the non-scientist, I'm thinking about science as it comes into the public domain under the following expression. Experts say. I put the phrase, experts say, into Google last night, <laughs> and I got 16,445 hits. <laughs> and I think that the role of experts and expertise itself has undergone a huge change in the years since I have been a journalist. Uh, this is not a systematic study, so my thesis about the ascent of science and the democratic imagination may turn out to be false. But it just is the case that since 1980, every American president has overseen the regulatory state through a, a, an idea called regulatory impact analyses, which require careful quantitative assessment of the effects of various courses of action. That's a tribute to the power of science and the democratic imagination.